On June 22, 2018, the world's top hockey prospects will report to the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas for the 56th annual NHL Entry Draft. Rasmus Dahlin seems to be the unofficial lock for the first overall pick, with Andrei Sveshnikov coming in as a close second. Dallin is a phenomenal 6'2 defensive prospect compared to the likes of Nicholas Lidstrom. In fact, Lidstrom actually said in an interview that Dallin is better than he was at his age, as he's pretty much NHL ready and can join the defensive core of any NHL team. With about a 20% chance at the first overall pick, the Buffalo Sabres have the best chance of getting Rasmus Dahlin in the lottery. But what say come draft day, the three minutes are on the clock, and Buffalo is stumped. They don't necessarily want an offensive D-man, they'd rather have a defensive D-man, and they could use a forward to add to their core of absolutely amazing players that they have already. What if there was a way to see which player was better head to head? What if there was a way to take Rasmus Dolan and Andrei Sveshnikov and put them toe to toe and see who is the better pound for pound player? Today with the help of the EA Sports NHL 18 simulation engine, we are going to do just that. So I have went ahead and created both players over an entire NHL team. And we are going to be simulating a game on the truest settings to see what the outcome is, to see which player would win if they had an entire team of themselves going up against the other player. We have the Indians and Rasmus Dolan is on every position here. Now his overall weight handedness is all the same throughout. Defensively, he is 78 overall, but uh, it just goes uh, through without saying that every overall on every player here is the exact same. In net, I'm going to give Roberto Luongo the start as 86 overall is a pretty average average to high tier goalie in the NHL. I uh, figured he would work best. I had to do a little bit of something different for Barry though, so I'll, we'll look at that when we get there. So here we have the Barry Colts and Andrei Sveshnikov all throughout the team. Again, 77 overall for forwards, so forwards should be pretty much even for both players. Defensively, 75 overall, so Dallin definitely should have the better defense on his team. And in net, I decided to go ahead and make Stuart Skinner's stats the same as Roberto Luongo. So it's pretty much true to his we're going to get because Luongo cannot play on the Barry Colts himself because he's an overager. Uh, so that's basically the best thing that we can do and a lot of the times we cannot find a goalie to go play on for Londa that has two in the game so this is about as good as it's going to get for this um, if they were older I could definitely do two of the same goalies but uh, goalies that are the same statistically shouldn't prove too big of a difference so I would say they're pretty much even in net so let's go ahead and jump into this simulation all right, so here we have the two teams, the Indians who have an 84 offense, 83 defense, and 89 goaltending. Uh, keep in mind that is an 86. They just have a better backup than Barry does, and I don't care because I don't care about the backup, honestly, because the starting goal is the only one that's going to be playing. Um, but Barry has 85 offense, 79 defense, and 86 goal links. Uh, so I'm going to give my advantage in this one to, I'm going to give it to Rasmus Dallin. I think that extra defensive help is going to come in very important and clutch for him. Um, Sveshnikov has 79 defense for the team. So again, it might be something that helps him. That offensive power might overpower Dallin, but honestly, it could go either way. These are fairly, these are two very close uh, players. Uh, everyone's saying that Dallin is the clear number one pick just because the defenseman at his skill is hard to find. But pound for pound, let's see exactly who is going to win this game and who is the better player. Let me know in the comment section right now who you think is going to take this game. Is it going to be Dallin? Is it going to be Sveshnikov? Is there even a question who goes first overall? Let me know all your thoughts down there in the comment section. And let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so first face off, here we have it, Rasmus Dallin going up against Andrei Sveshnikov and it's going to look like Dallin's actually going to win that even though his face off is completely worse than Sveshnikov's and we're going to move this one up center ice now so into the corner now Rasmus Dallin coming across with it moving some space looking for somebody back to the point we're going to move it around the point now Sveshnikov on him there's a big hit there flipped around the boards there now Dallin coming in front of the net and he gets a goal there comes around the corner backhand floats it right over the pad of Stuart Skinner comes off just a bit that was a nice little raising goal there for Rasmus Dahlin giving him the one goal lead early in the game so let's get another look at this one comes just right around the corner right in front and just flips it actually through the five hole of Stuart Skinner there that's a really nice goal. Definitely not something you see in the simulation quite often. So, one nothing for Dallin. Sveshnikov getting bumped off it, and now he's coming around the other way. 
into the middle now. He's taken a shot. That one's turned away there by Luongo. And Rasmus Dahlin is pinned up against the boards there. Um, so Sveshnikov is going to have this one. And he pulls off a move of himself right in front of the net. A little backhand razor above Luongo's pad. So it looks like the backhand goal is something that we are going to be seeing quite a lot here in this game. That was definitely an impressive move. Let's take another look at this one. So right in the corner there, just comes out on his own, just right around the pad of Roberto Luongo and into the back of the net. That is a nice goal. So already two goals right in front of the net like that for both players. Like I said, they're even. They are so even. And Rasmus Dallin back to play it. A huge hit there by Andrei Sveshnikov. That was a massive hit. We're going to see a one-timer here. Back centering pass shot. Has time. Look at the playmaking skills right here. That is impressive to see on a 17-year-old. No look pass between the legs. We are down low with it now. So Sveshnikov down low with it coming in front of the net. One-timer. And that one is going to be beating Roberto Luongo every day of the week. Andrei Sveshnikov is going to take the one goal lead here late in the first period with just about two minutes to go on a massive one-timer from around the net. Let's get another look at this one. So there you go. He has, goes back for it. Huge one-timer just opens up. Beats the one go there. Didn't have any chance of saving that puck. Sveshnikov taking that one for sure. Getting in on a nice little rush there. He has space moving it back now. Looking for a player because he's got two men on him and he doesn't know what to do. In front of the net and another goal in the first period. A great play there by Sveshnikov. Oh my gosh. How does that go in? How do they allow him to move around the ice like that? That was a play and a half. We're going to need a second look at that one. So there you go. Moving along the boards. Takes three guys off. In front of the net. Just cuts around and the long goes frozen. You're not going to see anything like that happen anywhere else but this game here. Luongo is going to let that one in. You're going to wish he's going to want that one back. There you have it at the end of one. The score is 3-1. to one. Sveshnikov has made some amazing plays out there moving the puck around. Dallin had a really nice goal for the first time, but then really seemed to die off after that. So if they are expecting to come back in this game, they're need to, gonna need to come out of the gate on all cylinders and just fire away at the net. Faceoffs are dead even at 4, but Dallin only has two shots on net, and that is probably the, part of the reason why. <laughs> Big hit there. But part of the reason why this team is down by two goals at this point, two shots on net is not going to get you goals. The fact that they even have one on two is impressive. Big hit there at center ice there. We're going to have the first power play of the game. Definitely going to be a charging penalty on Sveshnikov there, as that was completely uncalled for. But a big center ice hit there. Here you can see it there, just completely uncalled for. Easy penalty. They're going to need to do something to make it count here. they got to get this game back within striking. So here, walking in, he's got space, finding himself, trying to get that one across, and he does do exactly that. A nice passing play is going to beat Stuart Skinner there, no problem, and Rasmus Dallin is going to take a 2-3 to three follow behind. But that being said, they're within one now on a nice passing play, so let's go ahead and get another look at this passing play. So just in the corner, finds into the middle, and then finds a guy trailing late, and Skinner cannot do anything to get in front of that one, and... Uh, yeah, great play. Nice view there by the beam. <laughs> Just fantastic camera angle work. And he is going to be looking back to the point, moving the puck nicely. Two guys on him, guy open, throwing it into the corner, and Dallin's going to grab, go ahead and grab that one, flipping it around to his man on the other side. But Sveshnikov is going to take that one away, and they've got some space with it now. Big open shot there. What a passing play by Andrei Sveshnikov. Honestly, this guy is just making it look so easy out there. It's just ridiculous at this point. Get a look at this one. So here you go back to the point, finding the guy in the middle for the one timer. And Luongo has no chance of saving that one. Veshnikov winning that one once again. Another shot. And that one does go in off the draw. So their tactic of winning the draw, taking a quick shot, pays off for them. It is 5 2 now. They're up by three. An absolute rocket is just going to beat. The blocker side there, Luongo there by the defensive shot. No chance to save that one. Sveshnikov with a great shot, and the persistence pays off. When you win draws, take that chance. A huge hit from behind there. No penalty called, and a big hit there by Sveshnikov. So one guy gets hit, throws the body right back, right away at it. Dallin in front, he's going to get knocked off that one. That was definitely a good scoring chance for him to move plays from. Sveshnikov now has it in the corner. Flipping that one out to center ice. Guy in front. And what a passing play again by Andrei Sveshnikov to get the goal for 6-2. That's four goals up on Rasmus Dallin. Their passing is absolutely 
not even anywhere close to what Dallin's been doing right now. Look at it. Moves right in front, right there. Just comes in perfectly timed. This guy is putting on a performance. He's putting on a show. Luongo can't do anything about it. Dallin's falling apart defensively. So there you have Sveshnikov. going to win that one. This one around now to the other wing. Into the middle. Shot low. And they are going to get the goal on that as well. So they will not stop. It is 7-2. This is an absolute onslaught of Rasmus Dallin and Roberto Luongo. Sveshnikov just walks through everybody without a problem there. Into the middle. Takes a low shot. Gets his own rebound. And buries that. Dallin, what are you doing defensively? You're supposed to be the top defensive prospect. You would not let that happen if you were. Nobody yet there yet. We get back to the point coming in. He's got space, low shot, and that one itself is going in on the rebound. So it is a six-goal game now. Rasmus Dolan has just fallen apart defensively. I think he wants one more goal in this game, but we'll see if it happens. Huge hit there, has some space, one-timer, and Rasmus Dolan gets his third goal of the game, but it's a little too late as it's 8-3. I guess it's not a six-goal game anymore. It's only a five-goal game, but... I mean, that still hurts. Five goals still hurts. The extra goal helps, but it doesn't help you much at all right now, Dallin. It was a good effort this game, but it's not going to help anything at this point. But man, that has been the story of the game. Sveshnikov's playmaking ability and goal scoring ability has just been ridiculous at this point. We're down the last few seconds in the game here. So it's safe to say my predictions didn't go the way it was. Big goalie hit there at the end with no penalty. And Andre Sveshnikov is going to win this one and prove why he is the better toe-to-toe -to -toe player over Rasmus Dolan. Do I think that in, even in a, in a situation like this, that Sveshnikov would go over Dolan? No, I think Dolan is still the number one clear pick, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen. But man, I think you're definitely getting one hell of a player out of Andre Sveshnikov if you don't get the number one first over pick. So if your team is Buffalo or Ottawa, and you get either one of these guys, you're going to be set up for quite, <laughs> quite the time. Ottawa might need the defense more. But that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely leave in the comment section what you guys would want to see next. What kind of video ideas. Leave a like if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button. Stay up to date with all the posts on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys next time.